Hello, hello. So this tutorial is for the cruise that we're having in Santorini Stones by Shelley's group on Facebook. So every other month we do a train, a plane, or now a cruise. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking a mechanical pencil and just drawing in some waves. And I'm just kind of sketching in about where I want everything. And this is going to be the water. And then um, I'm going to draw in the palm trees. And the little part under the palm trees that I did more of a straight across is going to be the beach part. And I'm drawing little coconuts. And this isn't a real complicated palm tree. I'm just doing a real simple beginner um, rock for the tutorial for this first um, stop. And we're going to be stopping in St. John at uh, Honeymoon Island. And so the we have several requirements that you have to do. So the water, the beach... And then I picked palm trees, um, heart in the sand, and lights. So that was the three extra elements that I chose. Because you have to pick three along with the beach and the sand. So this is just a rough draft of, of uh, what I want to do. So now I'm taking a Copic fine liner or a multi-liner. And I'm going over my lines and... Um, I may not follow them exactly. I tend to do some of my finalizing when I use the pen. And I'm just going to go over all those areas. So, I hope everyone had a great January. We are starting February. The month of love. So, we thought it would be really cool to do a love cruise. We haven't done a cruise before, so this is our first one. And if you're not in our group, it's on Facebook, Santorini Stones by Shelly. And we do um, something fun every of the other month. But we always have fun stuff going even during uh, months that we're not doing this. So I'm using Wanda's watercolor. Um, I get it on Etsy, the Foiling Rock Lady. And I love her handmade watercolors. They're super pigmented. They're awesome. As you see, I'm painting straight on a shadow stone with no white background at all. Now, the secret with these is you really need water. People tend to use these and try to use as little water as possible, but they don't work as well. You definitely need plenty of water to make these work. And I'm just doing three different colors. I did kind of a bluish black on the first one. And then I did a bright blue over to the left. And then I did kind of a greenish blue on the right. And now I'm doing a super bright blue on the bottom. So I just did different colors of blue to mimic the water. I just absolutely love this watercolor. Now I'm taking a super light blue and I'm just doing the in-between parts between the little waves that I did. And I wanted to do it light because I didn't want it to be totally solid. I wanted it to kind of show the texture of the rock underneath. <clears throat> So I'm sorry if I sound a little stopped up. My allergies have been horrible this month. Um, cedar has really gotten me. But um, they're worse in the evening. So I'm uh, recording this video um, actually the day before I'm going to put it out. So um, it's at night. So I did a little mixture of that beige 
that's in the metals collection and then some of the um white and i just wanted to lighten it up just a little bit to make it look more like sand and so that's what i'm putting in for the sand part and now i'm using a little bit of gouache in the pearl dark brown for the coconut that's the metallic gouache um, it says metallic gouache, but then on the tubes it says pearl, so. Now I'm using the emerald green from Wanda's Watercolor. I can't remember which set that came from. Um, she does sets and puts them out, and, um, so. I think it was from the Crown Jewels, but I'm not absolutely sure. So I'm just going to color in all the palm fronds. I hope y'all give this a try, um, and you can always change it up. You can use the same style and do different things, um, than what I chose to do, um, but I thought the palm trees would be cute. Now, that's titanium white. Sorry, my camera was out of focus, um, on and off. I think it's the metallic paints. They don't look super sparkly on video, but they are, and I think it's keeps causing my my um, camera to go blurry so now I'm using the gold to do the palm tree uh, the bottom part of the palm tree and now I'm gonna do the little um, X's or V's to give the texture with that same dark brown So this is the first week, and we're going to have four stops. And if you're new to this, um, if you do a rock every uh, week, and you get it in on time, you'll have two chances at the end of the month to win a prize. Now I'm putting in the heart. And what I did is I put in a little bit darker heart and then I took black and spotted it around so that it looks like a heart that's been sketched in the sand. Sorry, you can't see this very well because of the angle, but I'm drawing little lights on that string that I made. And now I'm taking yellow, canary yellow in the Arteza pearls. And I'm just going to color in all the little lights yellow. But if you do the heart in the sand, like I said, do a darker brown and then do the little black dots around it. And it makes it look like it's been drawn in the sand like with a stick. It's a pretty cool effect. And here I'm just adding in... Um, a couple more lights. I didn't have enough lights. And I added some more black into the heart. And now I'm just filling that in with yellow. And now I'm taking the blue. It has... It has a bit of black in it. It's like kind of like a blue black. And I'm adding a super ton of um, water to it. Because I just want to give it a little bit of dark color at the top. I'm going to start on the sky. So I didn't put much pigment on there. It's mostly water to start with. And now I'm adding some of the copper and I'm just going to kind of work at this slowly and build up in layers using different colors to work on this sky because I kind of want it to be a sunset 
Now I'm taking some of the ruby red. But I wanted it to kind of be a sunset, but yet still in the metallic colors. So I'm just doing a whole lot of blending, adding water, adding color, blending out some of the red, blending out some of the copper until I get the sky where I want it. And this is the fun part, because let me tell you, working with the gouache and the handmade watercolors, the blending is so much fun. Like, it's easy to blend, but just trying to get the different colors and getting the effects that you want, I have so much fun with it. I don't know why as compared to um, acrylic, but I just have so much more fun with the watercolor and the gouache. I'm totally hooked. So I'm still doing the same. I'm adding some copper out on the outside and now I'm adding some more blue and dropped water over the top of the pond for, uh, the, the palm frond. <laughs> That's hard to say. So I'm just blending some of this darker blue in and starting to shade it into that bottom copper color for the night, for the night sky. And doing some more touch up with the red. And I hope you just have fun with this. It's kind of a different style using the metallics and stuff, but but it is a lot of fun. So now I'm going to start lining everything out with the silver, and that's from the metal collection. So I'm going to line everything in silver, and then I'm going to go back and edge it out with black so that it kind of pops out. I, these these new style rocks that I'm painting, they take me a while, but I do have a little bit of OCD, so <laughs> I tend to line it out and then reline it and reline it again until I'm happy with it. So they do take me a bit of time, but I totally enjoy it. Also, I wanted to mention my um, brush that my fine liner brush that I'm using is a mermaid brush that I also get from Wanda on um her etsy the foiling rock lady on etsy and um i've been using them a lot i'm really enjoying them they work really great with the watercolors and the gouache now i'm adding a little bit of light green to the middle of the palm fronds just to give it some dimension. And I just put it straight over that dark green. And now I'm edging out with some dark green and lining it. <clears throat> See, it's just really making those, those palm fronds, um, stand out. So it is a, a bunch of liner work, um, on this small rock, but, um, it is fun. And now I'm lining. And my hand tends to be a little jiggly, so that's another thing that makes this go a little bit longer than I would like, is because I have to go and fix little areas that I mess up because my hand jerks. <clears throat> but I do eventually get it all worked out, and it comes out pretty awesome. 
I've been having so much fun with the metallics. They're just a blast to work with. And I've been, not particularly on this rock, but I've been leaving some of them natural and just painting a picture on it. And I've been really having fun with that. Especially with the shadow stones because they have their own um, texture and color and it just looks really cool. So I'm just kind of touching up right now, getting spots that I've missed, spots that I need to go back and fix. And also relining areas that I've covered up with paint. <clears throat> You're going to end up doing a lot of that going over a couple of times. And I have this sped up four times, so I'm actually not going anywhere near this quick. So take your time. When I get fast is when I make my mistake. So I tr I'm in this video, I tried to really take it slow and try not to rush. That's the same thing with dotting for me. When I dot, oh my goodness, I just get in a rush and I end up messing my dots up. I'm going to grab a drink. So now I'm touching up the silver. And you see right there I just messed up my black again. So I'll have to go back and fix that again. <laughs> and I'm just fixing some of the blue now. Like I said this watercolor is super pigmented. So fixing mistakes and stuff is super easy. It's pretty awesome. It's starting to come together. Now I'm just fixing that line around the sand. This color is so sparkly. I I wish that video showed how sparkly it is. And I'm still just doing some touch-ups on the water. I'm getting really close to being done now. I'm going to take some yellow iridescent by Arteza and I'm going to put in the lights and it'll just give it a little glow because it's a color shift paint. And I'm just using a dotting tool to do that. <clears throat> I'm just doing a little few touches. Final touches. Now I'm going to take some um, emerald glitter, uh, extreme glitter, and put over the palm fronds. Just to give it some sparkle, because you know I'm all about the glitter and the sparkle. And then I'm going to use Glitterific in the water. And that's a super chunky glitter. And I absolutely love using it. Um, I'm doing Champagne Extreme Glitter on the sand. To give it some sparkle. And 
And it looks white first, but once it dries, it's just going to look like glitter. And I'm putting the Glitterific on with my finger because really that's the best way to do it. Um, it just doesn't work well with a brush. But it's such a neat effect and it depends on what color is underneath as to how it looks. So you can use the same color on all of these colors and it's going to look different on each one. Now I was trying to get that piece off that got in the middle there. And there you go.